If you haven't heard it yet, then here it is again. Suella Braverman, while addressing a think tank in Washington, US, said multiculturalism has failed. Thank you very much for the welcome. It is always a great pleasure to be here in America. Rather than truncate the hour-long speech and discussion, here Harpy, Julia Hartley Brewer, sums up the gist of the entire address. Channel migrants, the boat migrants we've been dealing with here, should no longer be treated as refugees. She'll say it's an absurd and unsustainable system created by international asylum laws under the UN's 1951 Refugee Convention. And she will question whether the huge incentives, as she calls it, for illegal migration need to be changed. Now here's Lisa Nandy on BBC Question Time, rightfully fighting back against the notion that multiculturalism has yeah, failed. This is a question. Let's go back to it. <laughs> Multiculturalism has failed, says Suella Bravman. No, I don't. I mean, I grew up in this city in the 1980s in the shadow of Enoch Powell with an Indian-born dad and a British-born mum. And when I heard our Home Secretary standing up this week talking about the children of foreign-born mothers, it took me right back to that era when we were families like ours were constantly under attack from Tory politicians being told that we were the problem facing Britain. And I would just say to politicians like Suella, it was a gift to grow up in this city that has been shaped by waves of immigration over many centuries and has always provided a warm welcome to refugees fleeing persecution. It was a gift to grow up amongst friends who were black, who were white, who were from all sorts of ethnic minority backgrounds. And we never even noticed because it was just so normal. We were friends first and foremost, and we told a different story about the sort of country that we could be. And I would say to the government, if you're worried about integration and people not speaking English, why are you cutting English language classes so that there are huge waiting lists in every part of this country? If you're worried about people fleeing persecution, war, climate change, why did you abolish DFID and trash one of the best things that this country has ever been able to give the to the world? Yeah. If you're worried about the future of this country and people being able to have enough houses to live in. Why is your house building program falling off a cliff and why have you presided over the loss of houses, including social housing stock, over 13 consecutive years? And if you're worried about asylum seekers in hotels, why aren't you processing asylum claims and getting a grip on yeah. the asylum system? The problem facing this country is not people like me or this lady here or our inability to understand one another. The problems facing this country have one cause and one cause alone. Politicians like Suella Braverman and this Tory government. And let me just... Click here for wishful thinking of what might have happened when Jacob Rees-Mogg got knighted.